Today I will show you how to create this in a very fast way by only creating a few dex meshes using TMDL view and ChatGPT. And by doing so, you will get an overview over tables, your columns in your model, your dex meshes, and the relationships in your Power BI model. Isn't this awesome? Today I want to talk with you about documentation. I know that we are all not big documentation fans, but it is necessary to do. And the TMDL view also brought some possibilities how to do it easier and more effective. So this is in general what we will build today and I think it's pretty cool. It's an overview of all the tables in your model. The second page is an overview about all the columns providing the table, the column name, the source column and the description. The third one is an overview about the dex measures and the fourth one is an overview of all the relationships in your model. If you see that now, you may think it is a lot of work, but I can tell you it is not and it is very easy to build. So I will go with you in a fresh model and show you how to build this on. So here we are in my general e-commerce file and the first thing we will do is we will add some tables with the information about your relationships, your columns, your tables and your dex measures. So we go to the modeling view, go to new table and the first thing we add is the table for the tables. So let's call it table. We use the info view functions for that. So info dot view tables. This will provide the tables. Then we add a second table called the columns. So columns is info dot view columns. The next table will be the dex measures. For the dex measures, you need to know that you can't call the table um, measures because this is not allowed. So dex measures, it's info dot view the measures. And the last thing we are missing are the relationships. So this will be the table for the relationships is gleich info dot view relationships. And in the table, table and column, there is a relationship we will install. So we will drag the table from the columns to the name in the tables. This is the only thing we have to do. Then we go back. And what we will do now is we will drag in the table and have a look at our tables table. So we go here, drag in the name, drag in the description, drag the is hidden, is private, the storage mode. So we know if it is an import, we know the name, the description. And I think this is enough right now. So now you can see here already some informations but you can also see that, for example, the description is missing. To get the description now, there are more possibilities. So you can go here, click on the table, let's say the e-commerce and enter the description here. So it's the fact table with all transactions. Press enter. Go back here, go to refresh. And you can see that the description is showing up here now. And what you can also do, if you do not like the look and feel of is hidden and is private, you can also add a measure in this tables. So you can go to new measure. We will call it um, is hidden symbol. So we will use a switch and we will check the is hidden column in the table. So this one and if it is true, we want to have a unit show that is looking like this. 
And if it is false, we want to have the unit char looking like that. So this is what we have here. And so we also have to change this to the right column. Hidden. And now you have an icon, if it's hidden or not, then you can go here to the specific column, go to the is hidden symbol, turn this on and go to center. And now it looks much better. And we can do the same for the is private and it looks also better than so. New measure is private symbol. And we need the is private column And we will also drag this in. So now you can see you can build this out like you want. So we will rename this into the tables and duplicate it, rename it to columns. And now I will show you how to proceed with the columns. So we remove this, go to the columns, drag in the table, the name of the columns, the is key. This will give you the information if it is a key or not. We will also drag in the description, the is unique, the source column, the sort column, the summarization type, and the format string. Yeah, I think this is a good starting point now. And here you can see also that for the columns, the description is empty. And what we can do now is we can go to the DMDL view. We can go, for example, to the e-commerce table, go to script to DMDL, script to tab. And here you can see the whole table. And here you can also see the description for the table. And what you can do now, you can add here the descriptions for the customer column, for example, so number of customers. You can copy this, you can copy it down and say this is the row ID. And you can go on like this. What you can also do is you can press on um, Control A, Control C. You can go to ChatGPT, make a new chat and say to ChatGPT, can you add the descriptions? in this code following the first code part with the customer. Copy in the code, copy this out copy it in here and tell him. So we pressed enter. So if it's finished, you go copy this out, go to copy, go to Power BI, go to Control A, Control V, replace this. And then you have to correct this because it matters. You go here and here. Then we have zero problems and go to apply. We go back here, go to the columns, go to the refresh. And now you can see here the descriptions we've put in. And what we can also do is we can go to the filters, go to the tables and turn off the tables we have only created for this documentation because we don't need them in the documentation. And here you can see now that you have already the descriptions in combination with updating them in the TMDL view, which is a pretty awesome feature. And so we will duplicate this again, go to the Dex measure, put all the things we do not need out again, or create a new table as you like. Then you go to the text measures, drag in the name, the table, also the description, the display folder, 
the format strain, the state, also the expression, so you can see how it is calculated. And yeah, you can also drag in here if it is hidden or not, but at the moment it's enough. So you can see here all the informations and the descriptions again. So we will sort that. And here you can do the same as we did before. So you can go to DMDL, go to the meshes table, go to script to DMDL, to script to tab. And you can here add now the descriptions you want to have in the documentation. So mesh table with all text functions. And you can do that for all your meshes, or you can use ChatGPT for that again. Some profit last year. Then you can go to apply again, go back to your table, go to refresh. And you can see here that the descriptions are showing up now. And last but not least, duplicate, rename it to relationships. Create a new table or delete everything in here. Go to the relationships, drag in the name, the relationship, we will put out the name. Um, drag in the from column and the from table, the from cardinality, and the to table column and cardinality. Then we will also drag in the cross filtering behavior. So we will know it's a one direction or both. And we will also drag in the is active that we know if it is working or not. And also here you can do the same like we did before. If you like that more, you can go to the tables, copy this code and apply this also to the is active new measure. Change this into is active. And check the is active table. And do the same here. And then you can drag in the symbols instead of um, the true and the false, which is looking a little bit better. Then you can do the same again. Specific column is active, apply to both and center. This was the wrong one. So here. And we will also, and we will also, of course, turn off the totals because the totals do not make any sense in any of these tables. So turning them off. So here you can see the version where I have spent some time on the formatting and making it look a little bit nicer. And you can see you can already do a match by only adding these four meshes. And if you want, what we usually hate is you can also export this and export this as an Excel file or something you can work on further with. I hope I could show you how easy documentation can be and how you can get a lot of done with only a few tricks. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and give it a like. I hope to see you on my channel soon. Wish you a great day now. Bye bye.